Hello, and welcome to a, a special puzzle edition. We have a viewer who is a longtime viewer of many Sudoku channels here on YouTube, including very thankfully mine. And he set a puzzle and he sent the link to me on my Discord, so we are going to give it a try. It is called Night's Heat and it is by Tony Zampini. Normal 6x6 Sudoku rules apply. Digits that are in knights move apart in chess may not contain the same digit. Digits placed along a thermometer must strictly increase from the bulb end. So normal 6x6 Sudoku rules apply. Every complete row, every complete column, and every complete 2x3 box is or will contain the digits 1 to 6 once each. Digits that are in knights move apart, let's say this was a 1 for example, then none of these surrounding cells, whoops, none of these surrounding cells in this shape could in fact be a, uh, could in fact be a one as well because of the knight's move constraint, because this is how knights move in chess. They move in these L shapes. So if you don't know that, you should brush up on your chess. And then we have digits placed along a thermometer, or thermo as I might call them, must strictly increase from the bulb end. So, as we move up a thermometer from the bulb to the tip, the number should get bigger. And that gives us something that's very important with the thermometer, is that a 1 may never be placed up a thermometer, just like a 6 may never pla be placed down a thermometer. If a 1 is not in the bulb of a thermometer, then you would need a 0 or lower to exist below the 1. And if you put a 6 down a thermometer, you would need a 7 or higher to exist above the um, above that there. So because of that, we are, uh, we are restricted to, if a 1 exists on the thermometer, it must exist in the bulb, and if a 6 exists on the thermometer, it must exist in the tip. Those are the rules. Let's just jump right into it. All right. So, as I was doing that little explanation there, I already think I've spotted my first digit placement. In box, uh, what would you call this? One, two, three, four. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six. So in box four over here, we have to place a one. Well, the one cannot go up the thermometer. So because of that, it must exist here. Then, Can't be one here, here, here. I don't. Okay. We'll 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 come back to that. I I want to keep looking at this box because I just thought about something. Where does two go? We just work our way up. We can't place one. Where does two go? Well, two would have to go in the second place on the thermometer. Of course, it not, cannot go three up a thermometer because if it did, then you'd need two, one, and zero, and that is not possible. So it would need to go up the thermometer in the second spot. Well, if it went here or here, two, then this or this would have to be one. And it can't be because of Sudoku, which actually places two here. And that makes this a two, one, which, which gives us a one here by, by knight's move constraint. By knight's move, this can't be a one, because then it would see that. Let's see if we can place other ones. One cannot go here or here, so it goes here or here by knight's move. One, one cannot go here. Oh, but look at that. Look at that. So, where does one go in this top row? If one went here, then neither of these could be one. So actually, we're left with a X, an X-wing on ones here. And, sorry, let me, let me make sure. One here, here. One gets pushed up to this row. Yeah, because if one went here, then neither of these could be one. So this is one or one, one, one. We have an X-wing on ones, which places one here by Sudoku. No knight's move needed. Okay, but then what does that tell us? What does that tell us?
Oh, well, one of these thermometers, one of these thermometers is a 2-3. I don't know which one, but one of these almost certainly has to be a 2-3, because 3 can't go the third place up a thermometer, because then it would be 3-2-1, and we know that's not possible, right? We've already placed our 2, so this would be 3. So whichever one of these is 3, this would be 2, because it can't be 1. So we definitely have a 2-3. I guess 6 goes somewhere up the thermometer, like this. And then we need to place 4 and 5 somewhere. Hmm. I don't immediately see how that's useful. I'll come back to that. Um, this thermometer here can't be 1 or 2, so it can start with 3. It could go 3, 4, 5, or it could go 6, 5, 4. So this could be 3, 4, 5, it could be 3, 5, 6, it could be 4. Oh, I guess if it's 4, then it's definitely 4, 5, 6. So it's either, okay, it's either 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 6, 3, 5, 6, or four, five, six. Interesting. Three, four, five, three, four, six, three, five, six, four, five, six. So three of the ways that we can make a thermo here, a valid thermo here, three will be first. Hmm. Here's an interesting thought. If this is... So I, let, me, let me tell you why I was looking at this digit. This digit sees this cell by Sudoku. It sees this cell by Thermo. It sees this cell by Knight's Move and this cell by Knight's Move. Could this cell be 4 or 5? It has to be one of them. We'll start with 4. If this cell was 4, this would be 3. So we'd have 3, 4. 4 couldn't go here, here, or here. 4 would have to go here. That works. That could be 4, I guess, 4, 2. Four two, But now that, that would be 3, 2. <clears throat> and I guess 5 or 6 could go in either place here. Okay, 5. Let's see with 5. 5, we don't know what this is, but... It can't be 5 as well. It, 5 couldn't go here, here, and this would be 5. Could this be 5? If this was 5, this would have to be 5, 6. And this would be 2, 3 once again. So whatever digit this is gets placed in here. So this can never be 3. I think, yeah, this can never be 3. So this becomes... 3, 2, we get 4, 5, 6 here. Or I guess this can never be 4, sorry. This, this is 5, 6, but this could be 4, 5, 6. This could be 4, this couldn't be 3 or 1. So it has to, actually this has to be 2. So we do get double 2s here. If what I did was valid. Four, five. This was five, this has to be six. If this is four, this could be five or six. This could be four, five, or six, because two, three. All right, let's let's look at some yeah, because the same pattern we have with the ones, we have with the twos here. Two can't go here, two can't go here, and by knight's move it can't go there, which places two there. Do we have all of our twos placed actually? Two, and then I think this has to be two. Okay, that is all six twos placed, yeah. One, 
I don't immediately see how to place the one still. So let's look at three now. Three goes here, here, which doesn't tell us what we need it to tell us. Six. So this pattern would be useful for sixes because it would tell us that this couldn't be a six, but we already knew this couldn't be a six. So these kind of diagonal patterns can be helpful because I think maybe it would be useful to color code this. We know that, let's make it blue. I like blue, right? Whatever digit this is, if this is four, right? This can't be four, this can't be four, this can't be four, this can't be four, has to go here. Whatever digit this is, has to go here. So these two digits are definitely the same digit, right? And actually, what that does for us is four, five, right? It So... Whatever digit this is, it can't go here or here, and it can't go here. So I, I'm glad I noticed that on here. This shape tells us this can't be 4, 5, and this can't be 4, 5. So none of these can be blue, right? I guess any one of those would tell us that that, that was it. But uh, anyway, sorry. I, I digress. 4, 5 says, because we know these are the same, this can't go here, this can't go here. So this becomes the blue 4, 5. Um, blue 4, 5 goes here. I don't know if this is the way we're supposed to be doing this, but it definitely works. Um, <laughs> 1, 2, 3. Yeah, blue 4, 5 gets placed here, which actually places... It doesn't place, but this could only be 3 or 4. If this is 4, then this definitely has to be 3, but this is a 3, 4 pair, so let's put a 3, 4 pair. And then... Oh, and these are different now. These cannot be the same 3, 4. So if this was 4, then this would be 4. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's let's place the, the last of these 4, 5s here real quick. And then I think I think I know what, what, what we have to do here. Because these are the same digit, right? This has to be 3 or 4. And that's just like... That's just the the what, sorry. That's just the thermal rules, right? But these have to be different digits. These cannot be the same digit. So if this was four, both of these would have to be three, and that's not possible. Which tells us that all of our blues are in fact five, which gives us five six five six three four. And I think we're 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 essentially done from here. I think we're we're closing in our on our solution very quickly here. Um, we have all our fives. I think we can probably get rid of the coloring on that. It's not necessary. We need to place three. Three goes here. Oh, three goes here. That places four here. That gives us three here. We need to place a six. We need to place a three. We need to place a four or six. This has to be four. We need to place a six. We need to place four. We need to place three. We have to place what? We have to place 1 and 4. 4 gives us 1. This is 4. This is 1. This is 6. This is 3. And this is 4. And we're done. 1122. Man. That was... Okay. So... That digit there... I'm, I'm assuming that's what, what Tony had... Uh, had in mind for this one, and I'm sure he'll give me a comment on this. I, I, I really did enjoy this one. I'm not just saying that. This was really, this was really a fun one. Um, it's very funny because I had the 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 fog of war that I did, where I was coloring the five sixes, and when I saw those four five, and I was like, well, those have to be the same. Let me start color coding. And of course, that wasn't really, that wasn't strictly necessary, but it uh, it gave us a nice. Uh, thing there at the end and because of that we were able luckily we were able to place our five in and then everything everything just fell into place from there which was absolutely beautiful so thank you very much tony for sharing your puzzle with me i really appreciate it and i hope you guys tried it out yourself before uh before watching but uh, if you didn't i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching